to take a little tour around the garden. This is my daughter's garden with her little mini pumpkins growing so well. And watermelon. But today I was going to talk to you about the squash and trouble we've had in the past. You can see our raised brick circle bed loaded with different kinds of squash. A few sunflowers in the middle. The squash blooms are coming on very strong, so bright and beautiful in the morning. Large, large squash. Each plant seems to be doing very well this year. We've had so much trouble. That one is going to be a spaghetti squash. It'll turn yellow when it's ready. A large pumpkin starting to grow. Summer squash, the straight neck squash. And everybody is growing quite well this year. The thought I had was to use diatomaceous earth with some school glue to help it stay in place longer than, you know, a one day application. So this is what I came up with. About one third school glue, one third water, and one third diatomaceous earth applied with a sponge brush. So what I have been doing, and I can't say 150% that it works, is a mixture of one third diatomaceous earth, one third water, and just a little school glue, about one third school glue, maybe even a little less. So it has a pretty runny consistency. My diatomaceous earth is a little brown, got left out in the rain. Someone left the bag open in a jar. And you can see it's kind of runny, very liquidy. And it stays on for several weeks. So I've been taking a regular um, sponge paintbrush and painting it on the vines itself. And then it dries. This was put on about um, four weeks ago, four to six weeks ago. I drip it all over and make a mess. You can see here just where it dried last time. So it has dried on the plant. It's been there four to six weeks in the summer. Um, it hasn't caused any damage to the plant. And you can tell where the vines have grown. Here you can see where it was last left. And you can see how I have dripped it down onto the vine, trying to really cover the vine. The squash vine, squash vine bore is not so much fun and can easily kill your plants. I don't know that this is the end all be all to protect them, but um, I just know what I'm seeing so far. Uh, I'm not seeing the squash bugs. I'm not seeing vine borers. I have big, big squash on the vines. I'm not having any trouble. This one you can see last time, it was applied. There's gaps where it has grown. So the diatomaceous earth, the water, and the school glue stay on the vine through rains. Summer in the south is always raining through um, my watering. Uh, we don't have any trouble with it seeming to go away, but we are having it grow out. You can see the growth pattern on the vines. So far, I think this is it. I think this is a great solution to keep the diatomaceous earth where we need it to prevent the squash borer or the squash vine borer. I have seen just a few squash bugs, one or two. We check them for, um, you know, we check for the eggs. We squish or kill any squash bugs that we do happen to see. And so far, everybody's growing along just fine. This guy is absolutely huge. He's just massive. I can hear the cicadas coming on. And we have a variety of different squash, pumpkins. Our yellow squash over here is doing really, really well. Big enough to pick today for sure. And you can see on all of the plants, the white is what I painted on to prevent um, squash vine bore. So far for us, this seems to be working. Give it a shot and let me know what you think.